One of our classmates had died. It just so freaked my mind. I found a bottle of barbiturates. They said an adult could die with thirty, twenty-five, thirty tablets. I told a few of my friends, you know, I'm going and uh, I swallowed ninety-eight barbiturates. I immediately closed my eyes. This happened to me when I was just thirteen years of age. We went for a Dasara vacation which was just about uh, fifteen days or so and when we came back, we realized one of our classmates had died, a girl. In the vacation time, she died of pneumonia. So her brother, who was one year junior to us, came back and said she died in the vacation. So initially we thought this was fun and we tried to imitate a female voice and answer her attendance and things because they were still calling her name in the attendance book. But after some time, this just freaked me out. This girl is just our age, she was right here and she just evaporated. Where the hell is she? I thought she was going to come back after a few days, do the act and come back. But then I saw this not an act, it's gone. This just got me up like this and uh, I couldn't go to school for a few days. This is not something emotional or nothing, okay? I have nothing for that person as such, but just the intrigue that somebody who was real, just like me, poof, search where you want. So I really wanted to know what the hell happens. It just so freaked my mind, I wanted to know. So I thought I'll go and see myself. Because I'm made like this, I want to go and see everything for myself. So I went and researched through my father's uh, medicine cabinet. Then I found a bottle of barbiturates. Then I took them out because it was opened, I counted, there were ninety-eight of them. Then I just mildly inquired, how many does it take? They said an adult could die with thirty, twenty-five, thirty tablets, they could die. Then I thought, I'm only thirteen, ninety-eight is good enough. So I had lots of properties, many things, you know, I won't tell you what all they are. I distributed all of them among my friends and I told a few of my friends, you know, I'm going, I want to see what the hell this is. They thought I'm joking, they were happy I'm giving away things. They thought some nutcase is talking something. So I went home and I knew if I'm on an empty stomach, it'll be good and I refused to eat my dinner. I said, I have stomach pain, I don't want to eat. And uh, I swallowed ninety-eight barbiturates and went to sleep. And then, I don't know what happened. After three days, I sort of opened my eyes and I was not in heaven or hell or anywhere. When I saw the rafters, I knew it was my dad's hospital. I immediately closed my eyes, I thought I knew I was in the wrong place <laughs> Three days they gave me some… all kinds of stomach washes and they kept me on drip and they did every kind of possible thing and they didn't let me go. Three days later, after all that, I still did not know anything. All I knew was I blanked out for three days and I was in a hospital bed. <laughs> then I knew this is not the way to find out <laughs> So, what happens after that? Then I spent lots of time in cremation grounds wanting to find out. People told me they saw ghosts here, this will happen, that will happen. Every damn place they said is haunted, I'll go and sleep there that night. They said this day it didn't come. But this whole exercise of being in the cremation grounds almost on a daily basis got me one thing 
hundred percent clear, mortality, very clear, no doubts about myself. I know this is time-bound. Once you know it's time-bound, you'll organize your life efficiently. You think you're here forever, so there is so much time to do so many things which are absolutely unnecessary for you. Right now all kinds of idiotic things are done. So many unnecessary words, so many unnecessary actions, so many unnecessary ghosts created simply because you think you're immortal. If you knew experientially you're mortal, as you're sitting here, it's slipping away your life, isn't it? Yes or no? As you sit here, it's slipping away. If you are conscious of this, do you have time to quarrel with somebody, do some other rubbish? No, you would do only what really matters to you. If every human being did what only really matters to them, this world would be a completely different place. So coming to terms with mortality is most important. At the earliest age, if you come to terms with mortality, it's best because you'll organize your life sensibly. My biggest weakness is I love danger. I need to do something which keeps me on the edge of being mortal. I want to walk that line all the time. This snake which is almost twelve feet long, very big cobra. I would just have go to a provoked cobra which is like this. What happens after that? I thought I'd go and see myself. He says he's trapped all ghosts in these glass bottles. I befriend him wanting to steal one bottle from him. We worked on this and got this thing, damn thing, real fast. When you get onto the road, go like a bomb. It catch fire because it's being pushed to such limits.